TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got a fast market going on with lots of action out there right now. A mixed market, S&P's negative by four, trading at 3,087. We just saw quite a drop off on a news just hitting the wires that they might have a snag in trade talks. S&P just dropped about 10 points in a matter of a few seconds. We'll jump over to that chart in a moment. Dow Jones positive by 42, trading 27,735. NASDAQ negative by 16, trading at 84.69. And why not? The news of the moment will start it off. And there it is. This hitting the news wire three minutes before this update, 1.57 p.m. Eastern time. U.S.-China trade talks hit snag over farm purchases. Trade talks between the U.S. and China have hit a snag over farm purchases, according to people familiar with the matter, creating another obstacle as Beijing and Washington try to lock down a limited trade deal. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's jump over to the charts to show you that kind of action. We'll start it off with the Dow. There's the acceleration to the downside in the Dow, currently 27,680. NASDAQ 100, there's your drop off on that news, now trading 82.46. Excuse me, battling a little bit of a cold here, getting over it. There's your S&Ps, as I mentioned, about 10 points. We were just up, approaching all-time highs, 3,096, now trading 3,087. Crude oil market, getting a little bit of a hit as well on that news, trading 57 and 12. Gold contract, as you'd expect, inverse of the market, gold trading 1465, and the euro trading 110 on the dot. Jumping back to that article, digging a little bit deeper in the news. Oh, that is Disney, which we'll jump over to in a moment. But you had Trump had said China had agreed to buy 50 billion of U.S. So soybeans, pork, and other agricultural products. But China's leery of putting a numerical commitment in the text of a potential agreement. Yet, if you have no details, what exactly do you have? And that's what they're talking about right there, folks. And how about on the flip side of that, Disney mentioned at last hour, 10 million subscribers as of day one. A quote-unquote remarkable feat. To put that in context, HBO Now took four years. And that's quite a different service, but check it out. Disney, Disney ain't getting affected by those trade concerns. Up 5.4%, trading at 146.09 on that news. Stay tuned, folks. Should be an interesting finish to the day with trade talks, impeachment hearings. Powell out there this morning. S&P negative five. Dave White coming up with the Power Trading Hour. We'll be right back.